In this video, I will briefly introduce a new tool called Quick Comments. The Quick Comments tool is designed to help teachers more efficiently score and write feedback for student answers to open-ended problems. To begin, let's look at an example of one of these problems. In this problem, students are first asked to identify the scale factor from these two polygons. Afterward, students are asked to explain their reasoning. Once students have worked through these and other assigned problems, as a teacher, you are probably familiar that you can look at your students' work within the assessment's item report. And that item report looks something like this. If you have assigned open response problems in the past, you may be familiar with the essay scoring page within assessments. You can access this page by clicking on the essay scoring link provided with each assigned open response problem, located here. In the past, this would lead you to a scoring tool that looks something like this. Within this tool, it lists all of the student answers to that open-ended problem and allows you as a teacher to provide a numeric score and also write feedback to that student in response to that student's answer. Once quick comments has been made available to you, however, the essay scoring link in your item report will instead lead you to the quick comments tool. The quick comments tool leverages the power of artificial intelligence to offer guidance and suggestion when scoring and writing feedback for your students' work. Similar to the previous essay scoring page, Quick Comments displays each student answer here, but also offers a suggested numeric score based on how other teachers have scored similar student answers for this problem in the past. These suggested scores appear here and are not shown to the student until you, as a teacher, enter the score that you would like to give. You, as the teacher, are given full control over the feedback that your students receive. If I agree with this suggested score, for example, I can enter the value into the space provided, which is saved once I click off of this box. The student would then be able to view this given score within their assignment report. Additionally, Quick Comments offers three suggested messages that you can use while writing your feedback to students. By selecting an option, the feedback message is inserted into the teacher feedback text box. The feedback message is saved and made available to that student by clicking off of this box. You, as the teacher, can modify or edit this feedback in any way you see fit. Similarly, if you do not like any of the feedback messages suggested, you can still write your own feedback message to your student without selecting any of the options. Tool will attempt to make these suggestions based on the student answer as well as the given score. So if you disagree with the suggested score, the suggested feedback will try to change as well. If we look at this, for example, I might disagree with this. When I click off of this box, the suggested feedback messages change to try to better match what I would want to give to that student as a feedback message. While still in development, the tool is able to learn and improve from the feedback that you provide to your students. We hope you enjoyed this brief look into this new development for assessments.